Hi, Taurus. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. Taurus, this is a timely general reading for you. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you are interested in your love reading, I will have the link to that pinned in the comment. So when you go to leave a comment, the very first comment will be a link to your love reading. Now, this is general, but love may come out in this reading. But I'm really trying to focus more on your spiritual development, finances, career. Keep things a bit separate. Okay. Keep in mind the energy is fluid. He could be a she, she could be a he. The walls could be reversed. Let's see what's going on. So we have here the awakening card, which is the hangman at the bottom of the deck. Six of Pentacles, King. Wow. Wow. Okay. So Taurus, what I'm getting here for you right away is there is someone having a major change of heart. All right. Someone could be opening up their heart to you for sure after some type of chaos, conflict, or confusion. I mean, this is all cups here in the Ace of Wands. If this isn't related to love, of course, this could be related to you having some type of clear direction right now about like your finances and your career because the Six of Pentacles is here. But with the hangman, this is like you taking a time out. Okay, something here has been delayed or it's like some type of standstill. Whatever it is, it is something that is temporary. But with the Six of Pentacles here, this is some type of reciprocal relationship that's coming in. This could for sure be a partnership. You have the King of Cups here. For some of you, of course, if this is a partnership, this is someone that is very trustworthy. I feel like this person is trustworthy. They are creative with the Page of Cups here, the Three of Cups, someone that you can really work with, celebrate with. Okay. This could be some type of very just fun partnership. And it's going to for sure be reciprocal. It's equal give and take with the Six of Pentacles here. But here you have the Seven of Wands. I'm sorry, the Five of Wands and the Seven of Cups. This is all cups, though. This is something that brings you emotional fulfillment. So let's find out more. Here's the Ace of Wands. So it's a brand new passionate beginning here. You have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups out here. And the Knight of Pentacles just popped out, okay? So towards this could be your energy or you're dealing with someone else, but it's like, I feel like right now there's been a bit of a delay something, a delay in something, but you're about to find yourself becoming very dedicated, okay? So this could be a new job for you, or there's some type of breakthrough that's happening in your business or something. Yeah, something is being balanced out. Wow. You have your judgment and justice in the Eight of Cups. So by you walking away from something here, it's going to balance a situation out entirely. Some of you, this is like in the workplace. It's like when this particular boss or this employee or someone leaves, something is, is leaving your life and it has literally been the root problem the root cause of all of your problems. It's, it's been the chaos, the conflict, the drama. I don't know why, because the Six of Pentacles is here and it says gifts of money, time, or effort. For some of you, you have um, a gift. There's been some type of exchange between you and someone. And I, I got this in one of my collective readings recently. I don't know why I'm getting it now, but for some of you, you could actually have something that has some very bad energy attached to it, or there's a person that has been around you with just a very, very nasty energy, and it has been bringing about a lot of chaos, conflict, a lot of illusions. It has been very difficult for you to make some kind of decision. When this person leaves your environment or when you get this item or whatever it is out of your environment, you're going to notice a huge change. Some of you, to be honest... This may be a good time for you to like do some type of deep cleaning, decluttering, clean out your devices. Some of you could have gifts that you have from someone. When you remove something, you're just going to automatically find it, it's going to be easy for you. Look, four of swords and the star. You're going to finally be able to rest, to retreat, to go back into a place of you just having a, a sense of, of peace and, and calmness around you. And, and for many of you, I don't know, this has to do for sure with something emotional or a relationship, whether that's with a friend, family member, or something romantic, because thus far, it's all cup cards out here. And you literally have with the majors, you have justice, judgment, and the star. So this is a major, major cleansing and clearing that's happening for you. Like something here is changing drastically. All right. I don't know why this could be very specific. I'm definitely getting though for some of you, it's there's an item that you need to get rid of, or this is like, a, I'm hearing case closed. A case is finally about to be closed. 
Yeah. And when that happens, some of you, you may choose to take a vacation. For some of you, if this is like something in the workplace, um, when this contract is over or this job ends, this collaboration ends, you're going to see a major difference. Maybe some of you, it's hard for you to leave a job because with the Six of Pentacles, maybe you're putting something into it and you're not getting what you want out of it. You're not receiving the rewards or recognition that you want. And it's causing you to really be weighed down. But whatever this is, it's temporary. If it's, again, in the workplace, this could also be um, like your boss or someone that you partner or collaborate with. When this person is, is out of this space, everything's going to shift. The Eight of Cups here. Or for some of you, there's just a space or an environment that you need to leave behind. Wow, the Ten of Swords, exactly. And the Four of Wands. Some of you, uh, I think I got this in Cancer's reading. Something about a new, a new apartment or new home or condo or something like that. For some of you with the Ten of Swords here and the Four of Wands, there's something that's coming to an end. Okay, this could have to also do, though, with your living situation. Wow. Some of you, you little, you could, if it's like a roommate situation or you're in a relationship and you're in someone about to break up, when this person is no longer in your home or when you no longer have this roommate or whatever, everything is going to change because there's a very, very nasty energy that is attached to someone that has been in your space. I'm really getting that strongly here. Somebody could have been to your home and they've left some type of energy behind. There's an energy that is connected to, to something like in your home. Yeah, here's the devil. But here's the world. It's over. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so something here has happened. I, and I am picking up, especially with all the cups. Cups could represent love but for me it, it's also a lot about spirituality for some of you you've recently gone through some type of attack especially with the hangman being the very first card that came out you've recently gone through some type of spiritual attack you could have had um a person around you or this is something that you don't see or touch it's it's a, an entity or an energy a spirit that you wrestled with but the reason why this happened was because you needed to master something on your spiritual path and journey. It was something that you needed to learn. If some of you right now, you're in a phase of your journey where you're learning perhaps about entities, principalities, spirits, you are now recognizing something about how spirits can and, and how energy can attack. You're learning to detect energy is what I'm getting here. Yeah, the Nine of Wands, you've been under some type of warfare. Here's the King of Pentacles and the Wheel. And I feel like you're making it out of whatever this situation is. Somebody definitely could have sent something to you, though, like a dark spirit or entity and energy. Or like I said, you have something or someone in your home or your environment. Some of you are very um, highly sensitive empaths. So even if you are around a person who is being attacked, you could be picking it up energetically. And this could be leading you to a, a better understanding about yourself spiritually and energetically. Some of you may not understand that you're an empath. You could be, um, th there could be some type of spiritual gift, gift that is developing, but it has a lot to do with you being able to detect energy. So you're going through a major ascension right now and it's teaching you also about just discernment because the wheel and the world is here. You have the judgment, the justice, the star, the wheel, the, and the world here. With the eight of pentacles, the nine of wands, and the king of pentacles, that's your energy. This is either you or someone that you are connected to who is getting through. I just heard like the hell's fire. Somebody is, is really getting through some type of spiritual test here. So whatever has, has been slowed down, it's temporary. But you had to go through it in order for you to recognize something about... You had to face a fear here with the devil card and the ten of swords. Somebody here has to definitely face their fears or the reality of a situation. Wow, the lovers, the chariot, and the strength card. Once again, all these majors are coming out. This, for some of you, it does have a lot to do with a relationship. But I feel like your your path is being entirely cleared for you to go into some type of... um. This is a contract, but it's not only about like a lover... Sorry about that. 
it's it's a it's a soul contract that you're entering but you had to first encounter some type of spirit some type of entity there was something here about gaining more wisdom. This was a part of your journey. You know, as a hierophant, I always think about people, you you being wise counsel. You, yeah, and you're successfully doing this. Nine of Pentacles, a lot of earth energy here. So there's a lot of success that's coming to you. A lot of earthly success, you know, material gains and, and security and stability <clears throat> because of, I don't know what just happened on my throat. So some of you could be going through a very intense like throat chakra activation. It felt like something like literally just, <laughs> I don't know. It, like there was almost like I couldn't take a, a gasp of, of air for a second. So for some of you, you could have dealt with maybe some throat chakra issues. Someone could have silent, tried to silence you or send some type of energy or entity to you to stop you from speaking. Maybe that's a part of your calling or your purpose to be very motivational. Maybe you sing, um, you rap, you're a motivational speaker, something. You do something with your voice. Yeah. Here's the king and queen of swords and in between it is the three of swords and here is the five of cups and the five of swords. This reading has so many synchronicities. All of these fives here though, there's really, really big changes. And for some of you, there has been between you and another person with the king and queen of swords. Think about it. Swords, that's communication. So there, the three of swords, there's been some type of interference here. Some of you, you are connected to someone and it could be a romantic in partner for you or an interest. Someone here, there was some type of great sadness or disappointment over the fact that something didn't turn out the way that you had hoped it would. Or yeah, the five of swords here, someone made an unwise choice. So this could even be someone actually from your past or someone currently in your life. But someone is in regret about something happening. Okay, it makes perfect sense. Thank you, Spirit. So you have someone that's in regret about something that they did to you. This person could have spiritually attacked you. I'll be completely honest. You perhaps are picking up on someone else's energy, though. Your throat chakra issues and everything else, this is coming from some other energy. Or is someone around you in your home or your environment, they could be battling a spiritual attack and you actually are experiencing the symptoms. Because maybe you're meant to speak up on someone's behalf or you, someone around you, they need to tell you some type of secret or some kind of information. This could be about something that they regret. So some of you, somebody has been complete, like projecting into your energy a lot. This could be astral travel or projection here. It's because this person is in very deep regret for something that they did. But there was a very important lesson for you to learn from this situation. Somebody, I don't think that they can talk to you. The communication could be blocked or they just have no idea what to say. But the issue here has been coming in between you moving forward. So now that this is being completely like eclipsed and cleared out and your throat chakra is going to be able to open. I feel like with the throat chakra, that has a lot to do with communication. You're going to be able to communicate more clearly in whatever group or setting that you're in, but also just in your relationships. Somebody has been trying to silence you because you have a contract to do something with your voice or with communication. This could be a spiritual gift or talent that you have. It doesn't even have to be spiritual, but it's definitely a gift, talent, and or ability that you have, and it has to do with communication. Some of you should watch the cancer reader. Some of you, you want to work in like news, television, media, music. Um, like I said, maybe you just want to, the magician is here. The eight of swords and the high priestess. Yeah. You've been able to manifest beyond whatever this is. Somebody wanted you to feel like you were trapped. But here's the high priestess. The magician and the high priestess. And if you look on this card, it's like you're you're running ahead of this pack. Like somebody here was trying to stop you or slow you down for sure. Page of Swords, because your new beginning has been watched or monitored, you're becoming clear. Something is being illuminated to you about a person from the past. Six of Cups, Two of Swords. Someone from your past has tried to block you from going actually into your divine purpose. 
for some a divine partnership but this is even with like your money your security your finances i don't know if you want to travel relocate go to a new job or whatever somebody is in very deep regret and it feels like a person was actually trying to stop or block you from moving forward because you're going into something in your life now that's more permanent It's like now you're stepping into your purpose. You're doing something permanent. This is like your legacy, your North Node of a brand new beginning. Somebody went above and beyond to try to stop this because they were in regret about losing you or something from the past, but they're also in deep regret now because you're, you're moving forward. Like you're transcending whatever this obstacle is. It's not blocking you. It's not stopping you. I feel like there has been some delays here, but... Nobody can actually steal your destiny from you. There's been things to manipulate energies to create the illusion that you are trapped. Hope and, and they hope that you will lose your confidence, but no, you're moving forward because the high priestess is here. You're trusting your intuition. I feel like you've been very patient. You've allowed, you've allowed some type of gift or ability to develop. For some of you, if there has been like a legal case, you just been following suit. You've allowed something here to just unfold naturally. And it has taken a very long time. But I feel like right now, like the divine is just clearing something out for you entirely. You've definitely overcome something and you will not believe this. But at the bottom of this deck here is independent. And the bottom of this deck that I'm about to pull from is the karmic cycle. So yeah, you're free. You're com you've completely gotten out of a karmic cycle definitely check out the cancer um general reading taurus energy was very heavy in cancer's love reading so i don't know maybe you have cancer in your chart or you're dealing with someone that could be a cancer or they have cancer in their chart but there's a brand new beginning here and of course if this isn't your story this could actually be related to someone that is still in your environment or, or connected to you energetically Karmic cycle still at the bottom of the deck. And here's the star. Wow. And love. Wow. Woman and fluidity. That's what I'm saying. I feel like when you decided to just be flexible and adaptable, even though you were going through some type of temporary standstill that could have even been like a, an attack. This could have been an attack on your health, your finances, career. Somebody definitely wanted to stop a brand new beginning for you, though. But because you kept an open mind and you were teachable, it's like your spiritual team, they've been teaching and guiding you on how to get through this. And they allowed you to go through it because you needed to learn something. It's like you needed to learn something here about, I'm hearing the words specific bondage. And I did a collective reading several months ago when I saw this card, I remember, and I looked up the meaning of like not magic. This is some type of binding situation. And this could even be ancestral for some of you, but it's like you felt bound to something, but it has everything. I feel like there's been such growth and elevation of your mind and your consciousness and awareness that although something makes you feel bound in the physical, you are able to transmute this energy because you know that energetically, you are a strong manifester. You're in the high priestess, hierophant energy. So here it's like the star. Despite all of this happening, something is being judged and it's being brought to justice now. For you to actually have wish fulfillment. And you're going to be blessed. For some of you, your blessing is coming for sure in, in love. You're finally going to have an opportunity now to focus on love, even if it's just love of self. A lot of you, this has to do with you also. You're releasing some type of control issues. You're releasing fear. This, whatever this attack, or I'm just going to say, I'm going to say it's an attack, but it's also like an initiation or an ascension for you. I feel like you've learned a very powerful lesson in surrendering, in self-control. Like having full control of your mind, being able to surrender whatever this is to the divine and just staying very fluid. And that may be the reason why all of these cup cards are out here. You're earth, but you're learning how to be very fluid. You're learning how to, I, I don't know what reason, you're learning how to energetically shape shift.
And by having this open mind and this fluidity about yourself, it's bringing in a lot of luck, a lot of positive changes, good fortune. It's like you're going to have happiness. It's just, it's just going to come towards you in so many different ways. And again, if there's some type of bad energy that has been connected to an, a place or an item or a person around you. So if you like changed your location, that was the best thing for you. You may find yourself feeling much more safe and protected because to be honest, it feels like some type of dark energy or entity was lingering around. Even if you've moved, it's like you've gotten rid of like some old stuff or if you've recently done a deep cleanse in your home, you may not have known it, but something around you was holding a very dark and powerful energy. And, uh, and spirit allowed this to happen because you needed to learn when you're sharing space with something dark. And the home represents the temple. Your home represents your, your temple. So for some of you spiritually, you've been housing some type of emotion that has made you accessible to some type of like darker energy that has been causing delays for you. You finally let go of something or someone. This is really powerful. I mean, the, the, the all majors here, judgment, justice, the star, the will, the world, strength, lovers, chariot. For some of you, there is a person from your past, a, a wound that you have from a relationship, whether it's with a friend, a family member, or a lover. The pain or the, like the wounding from that situation, you're finally being forced to clear it out. Yeah, you could have lost someone or had some type of major loss. This card, this is about job loss. So you could have lost a job or there could have been like some kind of financial issues, obstacles or challenges that you were facing. And honestly, I, I, this energy could have been projected towards you or because of this wounding of your heart, it's like your financial abundance Something was blocked because of a loss. That's why the three of swords was there between the king and queen of swords. Some type of sadness, loss, disappointment, rejection. There's a, a, a wound that has been open for a very long time. And it feels like now you're finally being made aware that something that broke your heart, it completely fixed your vision. And now you get to go to the next level of your, of your life. You get to ascend here. And that makes sense because like the heart chakra is your fourth chakra and then the fifth chakra is your throat chakra. And I always say the heart chakra is going to be the bridge between your earthly and your spiritual. Once you get past the heart chakra, I mean, that's the neck up. That connects you third eye and crown. So if you've been dealing with some type of heartbreak, if you've been in a space or place, a job, a home, a relationship that has just been very mentally exhausting, and heartbreaking to you, you need to move out of it because for some of you, like you need to get out of a physical space or location to actually change your mind, your mood, and your energy because it's it's a dark energy or entity that is connected to a particular place or an item. Risk, yeah. You're going to have to take a risk. The, the odds are better than you think. It says here something, there's something better. Some of you, if this is a relationship, you're wondering like, you know, should I do, should I leave this person? We have history together or whatever. The spirit is like, yeah, there's something better. There's an energy that is attached to something or someone. I keep saying it. It's something better for you. And as soon as you leave, you're going to recognize it. Or as soon as you get to the root of this emotional wound that you have, it's like the universe is going to open up to you, but you have to open up your heart and your mind. Yeah. And as I said, that all these cards just fell out. And look what you have here. Luck. Options. I'm telling you. Luck and options. You've been just looking at options with confusion or trying to figure out which way to go. Look, past and, the, and envy. So either you are angry at somebody from your past or someone from your past is angry at you. I feel like the anger 
The disappointment and everything, for some of you, it is shared between you and someone because the Three of Swords was in between the King and Queen of Swords. There's you and another person that you've been connected to. You both have a serious issue with one another. They're envious of you and you're angry with them. Maybe they've been attacking you. This person is attacking you because they don't like you. They are in regret and you've been so angry with them. That's the re This back and forth attacking that's been going on with you. This has been blocking all of your success and abundance. Yeah, it's like you're envious of something from the past or someone from your past is envious of you. And also, especially if this is like some type of relationship, this could be a third party that has been coming between you and someone. Someone from your person's past is envious. Wow, and that, that could be because they lost some type of financial security by being with this person. And this person is coming towards you or you're going towards this person. Maybe somebody feels like you're the better choice, but whoever they've left behind, especially with the star being here, if you have like a spot spotlight platform or anything, somebody is very envious of you and they attacked you. They sent some type of nasty energy towards you for sure. Somebody attacked your finances because you have the prudence card here with loss. So you may have started to feel like you needed to hold on to money more. This is because someone is envious of your financial situation, either alone or with someone else. Someone from your past. Someone feels that you're about to be well off. And somebody may feel like you're about to be well off because of a relationship. This could possibly be with a relationship that someone, a relationship you're going to have with someone that has a very jealous, envious, like upset ex. That's possible. Yeah, because here with options, you've been chosen for a job, an opportunity, a relationship. There's something you've been chosen for. And somebody, yeah, you got lucky. Somebody is very, very envious that you've been chosen for something. Your favor, somebody feels like your favor is not fair and they're very upset about it. This could be in your job. This could be in your family and your romantic life. Take it however it resonates. But you staying the course and learning a very important lesson here is going to allow you to ascend and go to the next level. So there's really nothing here for you to worry about. <laughs> To be honest, and I just looked here at this deck here. You have your old exes. So I'm going to do a separate love reading for you. But for some of you, yeah, and I just cut the deck love affair. So for some of you, there's been a third party that has been attacking your finances. Yeah, because you have a soulmate. And here's Archangel Michael, but you are protected. Your spiritual team is telling you to remain hopeful. And that's what I was saying earlier with the King of Cups, Page of Cups, Three of Cups, and the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. You have a trustworthy energy around you. This is a friend, a family member, a lover, a spirit guide. They are here to protect you because someone wanted you to be very stagnant. Someone here who is a narcissist, maybe. They wanted you to have to run into some kind of dead end. Whatever this um, standstill was for you, this blockage is temporary. You're being protected. But you are also being made aware of something. Yeah. But you will have an opportunity to laugh about this. In the in the end, you'll get the last laugh. Yeah, somebody here is mad because you were the option. You were chosen. You were chosen for this job. You were chosen for this position. You were chosen for... You're just chosen. Somebody is mad about like your life purpose or... Somebody chose you to be in a relationship. Oh, wow. I cannot. It's clear here. So for a lot of you, the very strong, strong energy in this reading is you've been attacked by a third party. You have here, it says third party clingy, more than one option. There is a third party that has attacked your finances. Yeah. Somebody here who has been very obsessed with your material blessings. They've recently sent a very major attack to you. And spirit is saying that what you need to do is just continue to flow. Do not let this stop or block you.
somebody is going through the dark night of the soul and they're in pain about something and they attack you. So somebody operating in their shadow has gotten very upset with your material possessions, your blessings, your success, your relationship. This is just somebody very envious of your entire life because you've received some kind of gift. Wow. So, so for some of you, your gift, it could, it could have been like a home or a relationship. I'm getting ribbon cutting, box opening with this gift card here. And somebody here is just very, very obsessed and, and upset. Like, I mean, really, really upset. Someone here is in pain. They, they're very upset that you received something to the point that this literally, somebody has acted completely out of their shadow self. Like they've done something ruthless towards you, towards your finances. Talking, yeah. Has to do with the relationship. You're communicating with someone or dating someone. Cutting out here says cut down. Silent treatment, talking, separation. So somebody could have tried to cause a separation with you and someone. Yeah, because you're in paradise. You're happy. <laughs> wow. Separation. Or this is just, or this is someone that you separated from. So this could either be your ex that's done this to you or the ex of someone that you're connected to. Or it could be a couple. Take it how it resonates. I'm actually going to go ahead and just pull a few oracles for you and leave it here. I'm going to do your separating for love. Love is coming out in this reading, but we're going to dig deeper into love and see if this situation comes out. Look at that sore and dreams. Wow. You're going towards your dreams, Taurus. It says you're getting ready to fly high up above all of your obstacles and embrace the life in the most magical ways. Aligned with your wholeness, kindred souls. Once again, love. Dream come true. Home, sweet home. Some of you, you have a new home. It's your dream come true for you to have this new home. This for some of you new body, you've re reached some kind of fit, you know, body or fitness goals. It could be a new home, new car, a new job. Watch Cancer's reading because I keep hearing that um Ari Lennox song, New Apartment. Like you're really not you're really happy in this new space. You could have, if you have a business, you've got a new office space. Your dreams may be more visit and, and more vivid and intense than usual. So for some of you, like I said before, your spiritual gifts, gifts are, uh, they're heightening by getting through this, whatever this intimidation tactic is that someone tried to use or a spiritual test as well as this attack, you're ascending. There's something that you've seen in your dreams is coming true. So you're meeting some type of goal for sure. But somebody wanted you to feel like you're a victim. They want you to feel like this because you're a beacon of light. And remember I said something earlier about you protecting your energy. So you could be an empath. It says energy protection. Your belief that you are not safe may be inviting in energy that is throwing you off balance. So again, like I said, you may have, this is about that self-control. Sometimes you need to stop thinking that you're you're being attacked and, and understand sometimes you're just, your commitment is being tested. I think that by default, whenever something goes wrong, oh my gosh, I'm being attacked. Sometimes God is just calling you to the next level and is testing your commitment. By, but by grounding and centering yourself and having some self-control and surrendering and letting go of the control, that allows God to show you if it was a spiritual attack or a spiritual test. But regardless, you get to meet your goals by just remaining in the upright. By releasing whatever this is. For some of you, this is forgiveness. By releasing whatever this heartache or this pain is. If somebody, you know, made you lose your job. Like, yeah, I know it makes you very, very angry. But by learning how to see the good in things, even the bad things that happen to us, that puts you in a lot of power. Because it doesn't allow your enemy to take control of you. And leave you powerless by whatever attacks they're sending. Phoenix rising. Hole in the soul. I'm telling you. Something very, very hurtful. 
you're you're rising above this finally. Something that hurts you really, really bad. It seems like it was coming in to try and hurt you again or to trigger this wound. And when it comes to spiritual attacks, people, of course, like to attack your finances to make you feel bad so that you won't work or you won't show up for yourself or for other people. Because that's the easiest way to try to stop your blessings. It says here, surrender to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. So for some of you, your body is telling you when you go around a certain person, there's problems. Your body is telling you when you're in this car, when you're in this house, or when you're in this office, there's issues. It's because there's something attached to you or something in your space that shouldn't be there. Yeah, surrender to success, surrender to prayer, and surrender to giving and re to receiving support and love. Some of you now, there's people that's about to come in and help you. Your soul family, your soul tribe, like somebody wanted a situation to be very hard for you, but depending on how you react and respond to this situation will determine your level of success. This is spirit testing you to see, are you actually ready for the next level? Are you ready to actually receive abundance? Or are you going to stay stuck on your previous heartbreak, pain, obstacles, challenges, or roadblocks? Or do you actually want to go into your, your purpose, your North Node? So in other words, are you ready to stop being the victim? Yeah, I know that situation it hurt. And it did, it left you as a victim, but are you ready now to actually be victorious in this brand new beginning? Because somebody who perhaps made you a victim, they're trying to re-victimize you. And by feeding into the situation, feeding into fear, that's how they get you. So I hope that this gave you a bit of guidance, Taurus. Like I said, I'm going to... Um, do your love reading and we're going to see what's coming out. I mean, we see this third party interference here. I hope that there is more to the reading than that. But I also see a lot of love and wholeness and happiness and family and like soul family, soul tribe, like energy coming into your life as well. Something is about to take off now that you are getting through this karmic cycle, closing it out. Yeah, pay attention to the signs, card number 10. Yeah, you're about to unleash your creativity. Yeah, and here is home. So I'm telling you, it's something within your, your body, your temple. But for some of you, there's a lot here with, with home. You have your home and home, sweet home. So for some of you, it's like a new home that you have or your energetic body has changed and somebody sent something really nasty to it. Hoping that you would sell out. Hoping that, you know, you would just become crippled by something and it would leave you feeling just very defeated. And therefore, you would stick to something that was normal, something that seemed as if it was safe and secure, but it didn't give you any type of fulfillment. That's what somebody was hoping. Because by doing that, of course, you won't actually go into your promise land, your purpose. It says your home and family matters require your attention and tender, loving care. You need to be focused on your home, your health, your body, your friends, your family. You need to, to separate yourself from some of this sadness and this drama. It's, it's happening around you, but it's like how people say it's happening. What is it? It's happening for you and not to you. This is to teach you something, but it's all dependent on your perspective. How do you view the situation? Are you viewing the situation as a boss, as somebody that's victorious, or are you viewing the situation as a victim? That's what's going to turn. The, wow, I just noticed this. Yeah. New perspective here. And you have separation and karmic partner. Wow. Past life couldn't. Let me go over to your love reading. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There is a really big third party energy here. Somebody on the outside has been relentless in attacking you, whether they are connected to you or someone that you are connected to or both of you, however that works. 
But this is some type of past life karma. Past life ties. Somebody was determined to break you and someone up. It's definitely love and finances here. So I'm assuming that you and someone are supposed to work together as well. That's why there is so much like negative energy being sent to your home and your finances, your security and stability. Someone needs to break down your foundation. Mm. All right, stories. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Again, I'm going to do your love reading. The link for your love reading, I will have that pinned in the comment. So when you go to leave me a comment to let me know how this resonated, you'll see the link for your actual love reading. So we'll dig a little bit more into the love situation there, okay? I love you guys. Always go with so that you never go without. Remember, if it broke your heart, it was meant to fix your vision. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.